Hi guys, it's Leeky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leeky and I have a real life actor first, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today, we have another Whitney Simmons X Gymshark review. I've reviewed the previous collections as well and I'll link the playlist up here for you. For me, the Gymshark Whitney Simmons collections are always the best collections that Gymshark has. And they've apparently also been struggling recently and I really didn't like a lot of the stuff I got in my recent haul, which I'm also gonna link here in case you're up for some fun and like just checking out what weird things are going on with Gymshark. Um, because yeah, I didn't like any of that. But the Whitney Simmons collections are always so, 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 so good. So I was really excited when they announced the new one. Of course, I had to like get a few pieces, get a few different colors because the colors were so pretty as well. And um, just make a review for you guys. I think some of the pieces are still in stock. Um, so you can definitely go and check them out after if you liked something. Um, we have, like I said, a lot of different colors today. So a lot of things we can go through. And see, now I made this all in a pile <laughs> and I'll have to go dig through things now for um, when we start the review, the actual review of the actual pieces, <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, we have like some really, really, really pretty colors. There's this leaf green that I really liked. Um, we do have some Kenyan red pressed petal pink, um, some salmon brown as well. So yeah, a few different things here. Also some white to just, you know, mix with everything. But yeah, let's just get into the pieces. We definitely have like, you know, some lounge pieces, some activewear pieces, a dress. So yeah, let's start with a sports bra though. You know, a good a good activewear outfit always starts with a sports bra. That's usually how it goes for me at least. And we do have the Whitney Longline bra here. I did get it in the color white. I also did get it in the Canyon red which is like a nice, like kind of rusty red, a little bit more muted. And I also got it in leaf green. So we have these three colors here and they're all like super, super pretty. Um, why did I get it in so many colors? Cause like I said, I like the colors a lot. In case you're wondering, and the Canyon red looks a little like familiar to you. Um, this is the Buff Bunny uh, Mirage color. So that's definitely a little bit more vibrant. And then we have the uh, Amon Rouge color, which is also a little bit darker. But in case you're interested, because I know last year we saw a lot of this kind of color. Um, but yeah, so this is the Longline Sports Bra. This is a very different piece than the last things they brought out in the Whitney Simmons collection. We do have a deep V again, like we did have in the crop top that launched last year and the year before. We have like thick straps and it's just like a really cute like underline here off the bust. It's not like with underwear or anything, it's really just seams, but I think it looks really, really flattering. We do have a little bit of a silicone logo here as well. It's just a little shiny, it's tone and tone, so really not super obvious, which I like because I don't like big logos. And then in the bag, that was kind of where I was like, eh. We do have adjustable straps, I mean, which is nice. Don't get me wrong, it's really nice, but we have like some Gymshark logoing, logoing on these. And we do have a bra clasp here. And I don't really like bra clasps that much, but I've also learned that they're actually less annoying than you think they are. So, um, you know, and there's like a lot of padding going on here in the back. So I don't think they should be too uncomfortable. Um, it just means that for some people that really need to adjust this, they have the option to adjust it. And I mean, the front really looked very, very cute. It looked like it was going to be super flattering. We do have removable cup pads in this as well. And like I said, it's just really tone and tone, like logoing. So there's not much like, you know, it's not super in your face, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I just think it's, it's going to look super cute. Let's Let's see it on. All right, here we have the new Whitney Simmons sports bra. And, you know, I was skeptical because of the clasp closure in the bag and stuff, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel tucked in. I feel like from a small chest, I do get a little bit, bit of exposure. Uh, I think it's very cute. I'm tucked in you have this little mesh paneling here. We do have a tone and tone Gymshark Whitney Simmons logo. I don't even know if you can see it. And I just like how it kind of accentuates your boobs without trying too much. And like the removal cup pads are really nice. Um, I will say you probably don't get a too much side coverage here. Um, and then of course, like you have a little bit of a deeper V here as well. But again, for my small chest, I have no complaints. And I will also say that this is white and um, I don't see the cup pads through. At least I couldn't see it when I looked at the mirror. Um, and I think like this bra is just like super cute. And yeah, I mean the back, of course, it's like kind of a matter of like, you know, if it bothers you that you have the hook and eye closure here, 
Personally, I used to think it would bother me, and then I started buying some uh, Buff Bunny sports bras with that closure, and it actually doesn't bother me. I don't use this closure, okay? I usually just I cl close it up beforehand, I put it over my head. And that's how I get into the sports bra because I could never do this behind my back. Um, it works. It's still stretchy enough for me to do that. And I mean, the back still like is a little cute with the strappiness here. Um, of course, they could have just not, I could have done without this. But the front, you know, I mean, it's cute. Support wise, I would say for me, this is a, light to medium support um this would probably be enough for me for most activities of course if you have a bigger chest that might look a little bit different but yeah i mean and the white is so versatile as well right like it matches basically with everything and the fact that you can't see the cut pads through i think means it's quite quite okay quality wise and thickness wise material for the material um i did see some people having problems like loose threads and stuff but i personally didn't see it on my items um but yeah i think it's cute <laughs> Like I'm happy I picked up the white because I can I don't necessarily need to pair it with the uh, with the leggings, right? I can just pair it with whatever I have in my closet. So yeah, it's pretty cute. All right, full on green look now. The sports press the exact same. It fits the exact same. I don't notice any difference between this one and the white one. Um, and I think it also still looks cute in green. I feel like the mesh panels are a little less obvious because they're a little less see through in the other colors. But otherwise, you know, exact same thing. And it's also the exact same thing in the back. And of course, now you still have this tone and tone logo um, here, but yeah, I think it's still cute, still very flattering. And I think this green is really pretty. All right, I just like this shade of red a lot. It's just like nice rusty red. It's a little bit more muted than some other colors I have in my closet, but I still think it's very pretty. And this is definitely a color that flatters a lot of skin tones, if not every skin tone. Um, again, sports press the exact same, fit is the exact same. Maybe this one fits a little bit looser, but I don't really, you know, I wouldn't say it's extreme of anything and still flattering. Again, I feel like the mesh panels are not as clear, like, or as, as different as they were in the white. Um, and again, tone and tone logo, so it's not super obvious. And yeah, same thing with the adjustability in the bag. So no complaints there. And it's just another pretty color. All right, then they also had one more active like top, which was the short sleeve crop top, but it didn't look too special. So that's why I didn't get it. I'm just gonna insert a picture here in case you're interested in what it looks like, but it's just like a basic short sleeve crop top, you know? So I wasn't really too interested um, and rather focused on other pieces. <laughs> but yeah, what do we need next? After, you know, looking at the sports bra, of course we need to look at the leggings. So we do have the Whitney Everyday Pocket Leggings. Um, so yeah, this time we have pockets. This is the color Canyon Red again. I also did get it in leaf green. Here we go. And see, like there's always, which I'm sure there's always some like weird stuff happening. There's some seams that are kind of like getting a little wild, you know. Oh, Gymshark. And we also do have salmon brown. <laughs> so I'm usually not, I, I don't like nude colors that much, but you know, I figured I'd give it a try. Also, if I look at this, like, I mean, some of the stitching, come on. Like, do you see that? I don't know, am I too picky? Like, I just, I just know, I just think they could do this better. Um, anyway, so these are the three colors I, I got and the leggings. Um, of course, they're still all the same. So we do have a pocket this time. In case you like pockets, then this is your, your moment. Uh, we have no front seam. We do have some uh, seam detailing here in the waistband. And there's a top seam, like a slight top seam up here. It's not gonna be super invasive, like it doesn't look like it's gonna be too much cutting in or something. Um, we do have some pockets here, so one pocket on each side. It doesn't look super big, but I think it's gonna fit my phone. And then interestingly enough, um, you know, you do have to have the seam from when the pocket ends, but here the, the seam just goes across the front of your thigh. I've seen it go across the back of the thigh or just all the way down on the side, but here we do have it cutting across the thigh in the front. So I'm curious to see if that's cutting into my legs at all or anything, you know, if that's gonna be uncomfortable. We'll see. I'm usually in between a small and a medium uh, in terms of sizes for my leggings. I did go for a size medium with these because of this, the, the, the seam that's cutting across the thigh, but also because we do have an actually a nice booty scrunch here. 
um, which you can see now, but once you have it on, it's gonna stretch out and like just kind of contour your butt cheeks a little bit better than if you don't have it, than if you just had a normal seam. So basically this, in contrast to the Gymshark butt scrunch, butthole scrunch seam, is very, very stretchy, so it does stretch out, and you can see that here, and it's not gonna look like this once you have it on, basically. So just keep that in mind in case you, you haven't tried leggings like this before, but it's really just like super like stretchy and just gonna form and shape to your body a little bit better. Um, so it's kind of like an invisible butt scrunch. Um, I generally do prefer those a lot more than the non-invisible butt scrunches, like the ones that Gymshark has or the ones that Alpha Elite has, for example, in their Amplify leggings because they are tighter and I can feel them when I squat and it kind of like restricts my movement because it doesn't, it doesn't feel good for me. Um, but these ones, for example, I never feel, so I'm okay with those. <laughs> but yeah, so we have some interesting detailing going on there. Um, lengthwise, I think they said they made these a little longer, so the previous Gymshark Whitney Simmons collections had 7 8 leggings, which were kind of short on me, like it was borderline. I hate Caprice, so like, if something is shorter than 7 8 at some point, it's just like, eh. Um, these I think are supposed to be full length, let's see how full length they are. I'm 5'7", so I'm not like the tallest person, but, you know, I'm still taller than some other people. So, I guess that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so we have these three colors. Um, let's see, let's see how I like them and let's just see it on. All right, let's talk about these leggings. They're definitely not my favorite Whitney Simmons Gymshark leggings. I preferred uh, the ones they launched like the past two collections. Um, with these ones, like the first thing I noticed was, I mean, yes, I like the seams up here cause it, you know, kind of snatches in your waist a little bit, but like there's this weird like folding over thing happening I don't know because the, the the top seam that they put in here it just folds over weirdly it's like not hugging you exactly I don't know um it's just a little weird like it's kind of folding over as I already mentioned <laughs> most of the times um otherwise like I think it's fine at the waistband it's just like that that thing I just didn't like and I noticed and it's I don't think that happened with the other ones. Like with the other ones, I was already always tucked in. Um, and I was also say I'm I'm not a big pocket person. I don't use the pockets because whatever I put in my pocket is gonna like, you know, weigh the leggings down and then I like, kind of pull them down a little bit. So I don't usually put anything in my pockets. Even if I have pockets, I didn't really need these. And it's a weird choice to have the seam go across the thighs here, I will say. Of course, I will also say that, you know, the th seams are not cutting in. I don't think they're annoying or anything. It's just like a weird choice. And I always think it's more flattering when the pockets kind of get a little thinner, a little narrower, um, and like are not like super, like if they don't end like this, you know? I think it's just more flattering, like more of a contouring for your thighs. Um, but that, that's their choice. We will see if the bone fits. And it does fit in entirely. Like I said, I probably wouldn't do that anyway, but you know, if you're a pocket person, now you can have a Whitney Simmons Gymshark pocket leggings. So yeah. Um, and then we do have some slight glute contouring. We also do have, <laughs> see, I thought I'd adjusted it, but you also do have this disappearing glutes, um, like scrunch. I will say that for me, there's not super much fabric to like shove everything in there. I think it still does a little more than when it's not there. And obviously the scrunch detail we have here that you can't see right now is so, so, so much better than Gymshark's butthole scrunch that just sits there and does nothing and is not stretchy and just, yeah. Like, so, you know, I mean, you probably know how much I hate that um, Gymshark, like, butthole scrunch, but I really don't understand why they don't make this sort of scrunch, like, happen on all their leggings. Like, they do have the possibility. They know how it works. Um, but yeah, so for me, there's not too much, you know, going into the crack because... There's not that much fabric left because my butt is a little bit bigger. But of course, if you have like, I don't want to say a normally proportioned body because all bodies are different. But like if you have like, you know, I don't know, like I have to size to a medium to have more space here and still that happens. If I sized up to a large, I would just be swimming in the waist and it, they would slide down and then maybe, maybe I'd have enough space to kind of like shove everything in there. But if you have like a smaller... No, hold on, let me do math. So my waist to hip ratio is 
pretty small, exactly. So if you have a bigger ratio because your waist is a little bit bigger compared to your hips, then you might have a better chance of getting that fabric in there and getting a little bit more of a booty, like separation, whatever. You know, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, I still like how they fit. I like that I don't feel the butt scrunch, like I can squat and I don't feel any tightness there. It just gives a little bit of an extra like shaping effect. And be aware that this scrunch will stretch out over time. That's what I've at least seen with my Whitney Simmons Gymshark leggings because they've always had the scrunch. So just be aware of that, but I didn't have any problems of them ripping or anything, okay? Um, otherwise, lengthwise, I will say these are still like shorter than a seven eighth length. Definitely not tall girl friendly. I know that this collection, they were supposed to be a little bit longer and they are, but still not like a seven, full seven, eight length on me. And I think they were supposed to be full length. So I don't know who they take as a normal length person, but yeah, still a little bit shorter than seven eighths. So if you're tall, I'm sorry, I don't think they're gonna work unless you have very short legs and a very long torso. <laughs> um, waist height wise, I will say that they're like, you know, the perfect amount of high waisted. I think the waistband dips a little bit lower in the front here and comes up a little bit higher in the back which is good because I've always had problems with these like kind of dipping down a little bit. Um, and you just do have a tone and tone logo here in the back as well. So not super obvious. And I think that's all that's, uh, that we have in terms of logoing. I did like the gold to Whitney Simmons logo that they had the last few times, but I don't mind this one now. It's a little, even a little bit more like hidden, which is fine for me. I don't like big logos, but yeah, I think this green is super pretty. I think, the leggings are definitely, like I said, not my favorite that they have done, but they're still not bad. All right, now we also have the leggings here in this beautiful red color. Um, and I will say here also, I have the problem with the, like the waistband kind of, I don't know, it's just like the top of the waistband like has this weird folding over. And I feel like here it's a little bit more extreme. Like on this side, you can even see that it's completely folded over. I don't even know if I can like, what do I do about this? You know, I don't think it's gonna like not do it. Also, are we missing some seams? I'm confused now. Yes, we are. Look, do you see it? There's no seams there. So there's like definitely something quality control wise. That's a little weird there. And then um, you can see these come a little bit looser as well. So maybe this is the reason why this sits especially weird here. I don't know, because I felt like it wasn't so bad on the green, but also here on this side, like it's just has folded over. It's a little bit of a pity because, you know, it's, it's annoying me a little bit. And I do like this color a lot. Um, so we'll see if I, uh, if I do send this back and ask for a better one. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, otherwise I will say it's a really, really nice color. Um, the, it fits the exact same again. The seams again are not like cutting in or anything. Lengthwise, these feel a little bit shorter as well. Like there's kind of nearly, you know, they're not caprice yet, but they, they kind of want to get there. <laughs> um, so it's also interesting. There's still like still difference in length, uh, in length between this one and the green one, but yeah. I don't know. It's just this weird, this weird bit at the, the waistband kind of bothers me the most, but otherwise it's a pretty color and nearly the exact same fit. All right, and here we have the cement brown. I will say it's not my favorite color, but that's okay. Like I, tr I was trying, okay? I was like, let's try this nude. Um, and while I can see how personalizing with a lot of the other colors in the collection, it's just not the type of nude that you know, I don't know. I just don't like it on me, on my skin tone. I, I, I looked, I, I mean, I looked at other people wearing it, it looked really good on them and I, you know, Gymshark has free returns. So I was like, let's let's just try it. Let's just step out of your comfort zone where you can just do it. And I did, but it's like, I don't know. It's not my favorite new tone on me, like I said. So I might not keep this one, but maybe the other one.
All right, and that was kind of it with the active wear pieces. I know that's like surprising. Uh, we do have some lounge pieces coming, so like this is not the end of the review at all. Um, the first piece I want to talk about is the Whitney dress because that is made from the activewear material. So from the same material that the leggings and the sports bra are made of. So I feel like it fits a little bit more into that category compared to the loungewear stuff. Um, so let's talk about the dress. It came in leaf green and in black and I was like, huh, hmm. And I decided to go for the black because I feel like with body dresses, and this is a body dress, it's always a little tricky, you know, to kind of like hide everything if you wear lighter colors. So yeah, I went with black. So this is the Whitney dress in black um people said they loved this one a lot and if they could only keep one piece it would be this one and it's already kind of comes with pre-contoured i don't know if you can already tell but like we have a smaller waist here and then there's a bit more space in the butt thigh area which i appreciate because that's usually where i have a big issue <laughs> so yeah um i was also kind of on the fence about the sizing for this one because i do have a small upper body and then yeah, my butt thigh situation does need a little bit more space sometimes. So it's like, should I get small or medium? And then I saw some people like say, okay, go with your top size. And then I saw uh, someone also trying on two different sizes, one that was their upper body size and one that was their lower body size. And it looked a little odd when it was too big up here. So I decided to go for a size small. Um, because we do have the same upper body situation as the, the long line sports bra. So you do have your kind of removable cup pads here so no need to wear a sports bra or like a bra underneath um, and you don't need to worry about nippage. We do have this silicone logoing that the sports bra also had exactly in the same spot like this under bust like contouring here as well the thicker straps and then kind of also the mesh panels. I don't know if you can see them because it's black so it's a little bit harder to see I think but there's basically the mesh panels are right here or that's one of them I guess <laughs> and then it's just kind of molds into the the dress so it's like basically the sports bra and then they just made it longer um and then in the back we also do have the same situation again so you have these two adjustable straps here that are also a little bit elastic but of course you don't have the uh, bra clasp situation because there's no like closure needed here in the back but yeah so the top part is the same as the sports bra and then it just becomes longer and this is actually a decent length like, I will say that because usually with body contrasts, they're so short. And I mean, they do ride up on me at least. And I know they also ride up on a lot of other people. And then they're so short. So you constantly like try to like keep them down, like wiggle them down again. So I'm actually happy that this one is quite long. And um, yeah, I mean, it looks like, you know, it just looks like it's going to be good. Let's see. I'm a little, I, I never wear these kind of dresses too much. But if it looks good, I'll keep it. There's also like two seams going down the front here. I know it's harder to see because it's black. And I will say the fabric feels a little thin, but I guess, let me compare this with the legging fabric. I don't know, I feel like it feels a little thinner, a little, a little less brushed than the legging material. So I don't know if it's easy to see, but like the legging material is just slightly brushed. And this one is definitely a little bit more sleek. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just, it's still slightly different because they said they made it from the same material, but I'm not 100% not sure on that. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about this much further. Let's see it on. All right, here's the dress. And you know why I wasn't sure at first if I liked it? Because yes, it gives you curves. I was like, am I going to wear it? Like, is it like too much or what? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I think, you know, I mean, it gives you a look at, look at this. Because I've seen people on Instagram be like, oh my god, the dress. Or like, no, on YouTube, I guess. <laughs> the dress. If I, if I could only keep one thing, I'd keep the dress. And I was like, okay, I guess I should try the, try the dress. And yes, they had it in green. But with the body contrast, I was self-conscious about like the little bumps you see. And you don't see the bumps as much with black, okay? So that's why I went with black. Um, and yeah, I will say I was unsure. And I chose the size small because some people said the size according to your upper body um, like boop situation and go with a bra size and that's what I did because I've seen some people who tried both sizes and when they went for the bigger size which was for their lower body that up here didn't look good so size small and I will say yes it is tight but like I can move it's still stretchy because it's legging material I feel like the material is a little bit thinner than it is on the leggings or uh, maybe it's not but like it feels a little thin but still I would say it's like I mean look at this 
can't really complain about it, right? Like, I'm not sure how you would see the bumps in green, like if it would be like super obvious, but I will say with the black, I think it works really well to like, yes, you can see a little bit of lower belly, but that's just normal. And otherwise it's like, it's just like, I mean, look, look at this, right? <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just like, it gives you, it gives you a lot of curves for sure. And I'm pretty sure it would ride up a little bit when I continue walking, you know, but since it's a little longer than some of the, the other body contrasts I've tried before, I think it should be fine. And I think you can, I can even pull it a little bit longer still. So now it hits just above my knee. And then from there, I mean, if it rides up a little bit, like there's still a long way to go, you know, like, and if you wanted it a little bit shorter, I've seen people do that. Then you would just gather the fabric a little bit around your waist. And since like with the black, it's really not that obvious, I think. Um, of course, like I would not wear this short, I'd still go for a little bit longer, but I mean, it's just like, it's, like it snatches you in for sure. And it's, it's comfortable material, right? Um, support wise for the boot part now, I would still say it's more of a light to medium support for my small chest. Um, I feel like this bra part fits a little bit bigger than it does on the normal bra. So I like, I feel like with a normal bra, I feel like a little bit more tucked in than here now. Um, you still have like a little bit of adjustability here in the straps. So maybe I can try to fix it there. Otherwise I will say also really good side coverage here. And yeah, I mean, there's like some seams I like going down here as well. I'm not sure how easily uh, visible they are. We have removable cup hats and you do have that Whitney Simmons Gymshark logo situation, but it's tone tone. So I'm not sure how much you see that in black either, but oh my God, look at this. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't like, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it, but I think you can also kind of dress it down, right? If you throw on a cardigan or like a jumper or something on top of it, you, you kind of tone down the shape a little, or just like something that's like a little more hangy. I don't know. Like, like I said, cardigan or something, <laughs> big shirt. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely something. It's uh, like, it's, uh, you know, one of the better body dresses I've tried for sure. Um, but just keep in mind, the material is a little thinner than I expected it to be. Um, but yeah, it gives you great shapes. All right, now we can move on to the lounge pieces. So the lounge pieces are all made out of this like eyelash knit fabric, um, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I didn't get all the lounge pieces. I get I got most of them. Like so, the only piece, at least I, as far as I remember, the only piece I didn't get was the eyelash knit media halter top because it kind of looks just very shapeless, and it was just not my style. I don't really like halter tops on me personally that much. I mean, maybe it's just I haven't worn them in a long time. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I personally wasn't too drawn to that. Um, but we do have another, like, top. So I got the um, Whitney Eyelash Knit Bandeau. And it's not a proper bandeau because it has straps, which I actually appreciate. And this color is the pressed petal pink. So, like, a really light pink. And I will say that this thing is so heavy. And it's very thick. And my boyfriend said it reminded him of a bath mat, and this is exactly what I think it is. <laughs> Which is not necessarily bad, okay? Hear me out. Like, like the feel of a bath mat, is not bath mat is not necessarily bad, but like, like literally, like this, because it's, it's, I don't know, it's so thick and like heavy. It's, it just feels like that, you know? I could just put this down the ground. He wouldn't even notice the difference. Um, if I put this <laughs> down as a bath mat. But yeah, so uh, let's talk about the bandeau. Um, I like that it's so thick because there's no removable cup pads in here and the thickness of this fabric gives you like good nipple coverage, right? Like, I mean, there's not gonna be any nippage visible. Like it's this thick for sure. We do have just elastic straps. The straps look the exact same as the, um, the ones we had in the sports bra, like in the back and also in the dress. Just here, they're not adjustable which to me personally seems okay. We'll see if I, you know, still feel that way when I have this on. We do have like more of a like square neckline situation because it's a bandeau. And then you also do have like an elastic here on the inside. So it also has the Gymshark Glow going. Of course, you're not going to see that too much. Also, it's tone and tone again. But yeah, you have that on the inside to kind of like, you know, keep 
the sports bra, you know, where it's supposed to be. And then in the back, this time instead of the silicone logo, we do have a little patch here um, that's also more tone and tone with silicone on it. Uh, I guess they couldn't print it directly on the um, eyelash, knit, eyelash, <laughs> eyelash knit fabric. And you can see the fabric up close. It's like, you know, just like very, very soft. And I don't know, it's like, it's weird. <laughs> I really like the color though. I felt like it would go really, really well with the Kenyan red. I thought that would be a cute color combination. And I also, to be fair, like the first time I was drawn to this press petal pink was because I saw, uh, I think Whitney herself pair this with the leaf green and it looked really, really cute. So I figured I would give it a go. And um, I'm curious to see how I like it because it's literally like, just so, so solid. Like, it's like, do you see it? Like, this is, it's not like, like especially with like it's it kind of st it's, it's stiff right like it kind of stays that way i don't know it's interesting um but yeah let's see it on all right newest in bath mat fashion uh, i swear i'm wearing something i'll just come a little closer so you can see definitely not exactly my skin tone and i think it's a cute pink i'm not a big pink person but like this color combination pretty good <laughs> i think at least personally um but yes, I will say that if I put this on the floor off the bath, I don't think my boyfriend is going to tell the difference between this and the bath mat. Um, it's also pretty thick because I appreciate that it's like, you know, it has multiple layers. <laughs> but like, it makes it like feel very like bath mat-esque. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm not trying to bash this because I, I think it's still, it's pretty cute. And I, I think I'm going to keep this actually, but still. Um, when he said bath mat, like my boyfriend, I was like, I think, I think you have a point. <laughs> and you know, sometimes bath mats are really, really cozy and comfortable and I wish I could just wear them. And I guess this is what's happening here. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever wanted to wear your bath mat, there's your chance. Um, like I said, I appreciate it's so thick because it covers you and there's no chance for nippage, I think, especially with the fuzziness on the outside as well. Um, no need for cup pads. We have these elastic straps here. They are not adjustable, but it's fine. We have like a more square neckline here. And then it's also just very simple in the back. You have like this fabric um, logo here in the back, which I think is actually quite pretty nice. And yeah, it's very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's very, very comfortable to wear. Very, very fuzzy. Um, you know, it's and like, like I said, I like this color. I don't think like I didn't get this color as like in the active wear because I felt like the bra, yes, would work. But the leggings, that just be too much like light pink for me. And I also know a lot of people said that those were really, really, really sheer. So that's why I didn't get them. But I think like just a, a pat, like just a little bit of like light pink is actually pretty cute. Um, even if you're not into pinks, I'm not really into pinks. Like I said, I swear, I'm usually not into pinks, but this one, come on. I mean, also like, um, I'm just, <laughs> my nail polish also kind of is, you know, I mean, it's a hot pink, but still goes, goes well. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know. I like it. Like I said, it's, it's definitely really reminds me of a bath mat, but I still like it. So yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot to talk about support, support wise. Actually, for me, I will say light to medium. I know some people said it's like not supportive at all, but like for a small chest, definitely works. All right, let's move on to the Whitney eyelash knit shorts. I got these in leaf green. I will say on some people, they looked really, really cute. On a lot of people, it looked like the most unflattering piece of something I'd seen in a long time. So uh, I think uh, on me, it's gonna be the latter case as well. I'm, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna look super flattering on me. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about these. Uh, leaf green, again, there's like eyelash knit fabric. So like very soft, very bath mat-esque. Um, we again have like this, elastic here in the waistband. I got these in a size medium, by the way, in case you're wondering, like all the bottoms in this haul. Um, but yeah, you have the elastic here that says Gymshark uh, Whitney Simmons. So yeah, tone and tone. I saw some people just fold it over because they're cool like that. Um, in the back, we have this uh, fabric patch like we did have uh, on the bandeau as well. And yeah, there's like no front seam on these, but like we do have some weird from like how it was folded or something. I don't know, maybe I need to brush it and then it's gonna look better. 
uh, some weird like creases there. Um, and I think there's a seam here on the side somewhere, but it's not super like obvious. Where's the seam? I don't know. Yeah, somewhere here on the side there's a seam, you know, on the inside maybe only. It just, it just looks very hidden, but there's definitely a seam on the inside. Anyway, yeah, I mean, it has to be put together somehow. And then in the back, you also do have a seam. I feel like the seams are really not that obvious unless you kind of like stretch the fabric out a little bit. I don't know. There's a seam in the back as well. But yeah, there's like, it's just like the elastic waistband and then that's kind of it. So I think it's not going to be super flattering. And um, it's definitely a longer short length. The uh, bottom doesn't really have a seam at all, so I don't think it's going to cut in. And I mean, they, they could be cozy, but like, I just think they're going to look like nothing on me, basically. <laughs> so let's see these on. <clears throat> you know, I think these shorts are just not a great look for like pear or hourglass shaped people. I mean, there might be exceptions, don't get me wrong, but like... I don't know. I just, I just think it makes everything here just look a little like lumpy. And that's not what I want. I think the color combo is cute. I saw some people do it. That's why I got this color combination for this uh, lounge situation. And I mean, to be fair, the shorts fit really nicely. Um, there's really no cutting in here. I wish they would make active shorts like this, basically. Um, it's very fuzzy. I feel like there's a weird like line like stuff going on here that might have been from like how they were packaged or something but really accentuates this area and I mean there's a lot of stretch in these there's a lot of extra space um you have this elastic here that screams Gymshark because they had to put it somewhere right <laughs> um and they're nice and high-waisted and the cool kids of course fold these over like this stay come on I got them to stay like this for the first time I tried them on. Um, but yeah, anyway, the cool kids kind of fold them over like this. And uh, then they're just like a tiny bit shorter, I guess, and hopefully stay. No, not in the back for me. Um, but yeah, then you just have like more of a, you know, logo situation there. But I think that's not for comfort. That's really more for like looks. So I'd prefer to just wear them like this. And you can pull them a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Like I could wear either, but if you pull them a little bit higher, then of course there's more fabric uh, gathering. Um, yeah, I wish the, the, like, I love that this is not squeezing at all, but this is just kind of like not very flattering. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I don't feel too, too sexy in this, you know? <laughs> I mean, of course I don't have to feel sexy when I like lounge, but like, I still want to feel like I wouldn't be embarrassed <laughs> to look at myself in the mirror. And like these just kind of, like I said, they make me feel like I'm a lump down here. Like the top didn't do it. And I don't know how it would have been if I got in a halter top. That's why, I mean, I didn't get the halter top because I felt like it was kind of like shapeless and not giving, it wouldn't have given me any shape basically. But like the shorts also don't give me a lot of shape, you know, in contrast to the dress. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to send these back. Honestly, that's, I mean, that's kind of what I expected. And since I know that Gymshark has free returns, I figured I might as well just try. And they're super cozy. So if you don't care about looking a little lumpy, you can absolutely keep these and like just lounge around in them at home. I feel like if they would have had pockets, I might have considered it. But since they don't have pockets and they're not like the greatest look on me, it's just a no. But like, if they would have had pockets, eh. So if pockets are not a deal breaker for you and you just want to be cozy, I mean, you can just go ahead, you know? Um, like throw on like a big hoodie as well. And I feel like it's probably not going to be as bad anymore with the shapelessness. Shapelessness, is that, the, is that a word? <laughs> but um, yeah, for me, it's just not, it's just not the look, you know? All right, last but not least, we have possibly the most expensive item in this whole haul, the Whitney Eilish Knit Jacket in Skylight White. So um, this one also came in salmon brown, but I mean, I guess since I don't like the salmon brown that much, I'm actually happy I got it in white now. I'm gonna zip it up for you so it's gonna be easier to show. Um, it's kind of like a cropped length. I did get this in a size medium. My usual top size is a small, but I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized than what I saw on some other people. You have a full zipper here. You have this like ring detail here on the zipper. And I think the zipper also says Gymshark 
or something. Let me see. Yeah, it does say Gymshark, exactly. Not Witness Simmons, just Gymshark on here at the top. Um, and it's like really pure, like white. We do have cuffs here um, at the wrists and there's also like a cuff here at the bottom. There's no pockets in there, unfortunately. I feel like that could have been an extra plus. And in the back, we also do have our little like fabric patch here with the Gymshark Whitney Simmons logo. I kind of do miss the gold logos a little bit, but it's okay. I can live without it. And that's kind of it. like, it's a very, very simple jacket. It looked cool on people. So I think it could look cool on me as well. And I just wanted to try it. And if it's really, really soft, that it would also be really, really nice, of course. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see it on. All right, let's talk about this jacket. I was really excited about this one because I just thought it would be like, I don't know, super cute. Um, I did go for a size medium in this one. I'm happy I did because this is um, still like a little short on me, I think. Like, you know, but it's it's not bad short. Like it's it's an okay length, um, a little oversized. That's what I kind of wanted, which, I, which is why I went for a size medium in this one. Sleeves are long enough. We do have like some elastic cuffs here and you don't have any pockets. I feel like it would have been nice to just have like Maybe just a tiny pocket on one side or something, but there's nothing, you know, I just, I just need something. Um, I guess that's why the leggings have pockets this time. So you can uh, just put everything in your leggings pockets. Um, we do have this big round zippy thing, which I think is super handy because it just zips so easily. You do have an elastic here as well. It's very stretchy. And I've seen people just fold it over like this if you want a little bit more cropped, if you want to be a little bit more cool. I don't know. Um, white obviously goes with everything. And that's why I decided to go with the white, not the cement brown in this jacket. We do have like a little bit of a mock neck here. So if we zip it up all the way like this. Oh dear. Oof. Let's unfold this. Mm. Why does this not work? Hold on. There we go. Still not all the way, is it? Oh my God. Let me just put the mic down. All right, there we go. I don't know why that was such a struggle. But I will say that this is a little tight now, so I'll just unzip it again. Yeah, but you can you can get your mock neck if you want a little bit more coverage in your neck. Um, a little tight for me, but that's okay. I would zip it like this, I think. Maybe show a little bit of the sports bra underneath as well. Um, yeah, I will say, I, I don't know. I imagine it a little bit more, f not, not flowy. Flow is not the right word, but the fabric feels a little stiff. It's still very, very soft, don't get me wrong, but it still has like a little bit of stiffness to it that I didn't expect, like a little bit of bath mat feel, you know? Um, so I'm not sure about this jacket yet because it wasn't cheap and I just expected it to yeah, like just be a little bit more flowy in terms of like being a tiny bit less stiff, if that makes sense. Yeah. Also white is always like a little difficult because I don't know if you if you get dirt on it like with these types like I would be afraid to wash it um, and to like wash it enough to get the dirt then out um, because I don't want to destroy the the texture of the fabric right because it's like so like fluffy and like just looks like very um, sensitive <laughs> to <laughs> to extreme uh, washing behaviors I mean I usually wash my clothes very delicately and always hang dry and stuff but you know still um yeah otherwise i think i mean it's a cute it's a cute jacket it's just not 100 percent what i expected it's like 95 percent what i expected let's say that so yeah, i'll still need to uh think about it but i think it's cute and kind of cool and it's a good gym cover-up but also like just for like lifestyle so there's a lot of different ways you could use it and again pockets would have been nice um but yeah All right, it's conclusion time. Okay, I will say that when I shopped the launch, things didn't sell out as fast as I expected, but now I actually did check the website again. A lot of stuff has sold out, but also, I don't know, like at least with Gymshark Sweden, I've just received my package like a few days ago. So there's gonna be returns coming in as well. So if you want something, just sign up for those. Also, people always resell these kind of things on, I don't know, Poshmark for North Americans and, I mean, whatever sweets use vintage or I don't know. So I think there's going to be like also like that possibility to get it through that, those channels, I guess. 
Uh, but I think probably returns is going to be a big one as well. Because I'm definitely going to return some stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, these shorts not coming with me. Um, the salmon brown leggings also not coming with me. The jacket I'm still not too sure about. Like, I need to sleep over it and kind of see, you know, sleep on it, not over it, sleep on it. And see if I want to keep it or not. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, and I will say that I will definitely contact them about, like, the... At least the issues I had with the waistband of these leggings. They're currently not in stock, so we'll see what they say. But uh, so far, I think I only had to deal with customer service because of something being weird once. And that was also, I think that was the previous Gymshark Whitney Simmons collection. Like, she had these oversized t-shirts, and in the back it said, it's a beautiful day to be alive. And then I think mine just said, it's a be it's, it's beautiful day to be like, I don't know, something was missing. And then um, they actually refunded me and I got to keep the shirt because they didn't want it back. So, you know, also not bad. Um, but yeah, definitely these two pieces are going back for sure. Um, we'll see. If I don't keep the, I don't know. Like I said, the dress, I, I'm definitely going to keep it. It's actually, it was a hit, uh, I will say. Um, this, this bath mat definitely also is going to stay with me. And I, I want to have these leggings to match it, but I guess if they want these back with them being like slightly broken, I can always pair it with the like similar colors that I have in my closet, right? Or the uh, leaf green here. I don't know. Like there's some possibilities. I will say, I think I'm going to keep most of the sports bras I got because I think they looked really, really good. Um, especially on my small chest. I think it was quite flattering. I also thought this one was quite flattering, actually, the bath mat. <laughs> um, yes. Anyway, um, there was a lot of cute colors. It's going to be the last collection with Gymshark that Whitney Simmons is going to do. We will see if she's doing her own line or something. Um, it's also a shame for Gymshark because it was literally their best stuff always. But um, I guess I'm just going to shop less from them. So, yeah. Uh, I appreciate that they do have free returns. No. Don't want to uh, be too mean to them, but yeah. They do have some issues. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know which color was your favorite. Let me know which piece was your favorite. Did you also shop this launch? Because I know a lot of people did. Um, and yeah, which pieces did you keep? Uh, which pieces are you sad you missed out on? You know, let me know all the details. I'm happy to always chat activewear with you guys. We can discuss in the comments below. Um, also, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, if you have any questions, always let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and DM me there, but be aware I'm way more likely to see your comments on YouTube. So if you really want to discuss with me and want to know my answers and my replies to your questions, then um, leave the comment down here. All right, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel so you can get notified about all the upcoming videos and you don't miss a thing. Because um, that would be sad, of course, right? Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too long of a video and I will see you next time. Bye.